Hi guys, welcome to Sharon's Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two quick ways of creating lined pages um, using Canva. Now this is the free version, so this is available to everybody that has a Canva um, login. So I've just logged in and created a, just a bog standard A4 document here. And the first way is to use a background, which would be as a lined page. So this would be if you just wanted lined pages um, for people to print out if you were offering like a, a journal or some kind of worksheet or something. Um, so the, the lined pages would just be like a background. So to do that, you would go across, click into background and in the search bar up here, type in lined and this will then show you a whole bunch of different lines on here. So if you scroll down to one, that's about halfway down the page and you'll see that it's free to use. Click on there and that will automatically apply onto the document. Now the only thing with using this as a background um, is you can't really change anything to do with the actual lines themselves. The only thing you can change is the actual colour of the, of the sheet that's behind. So at the moment it's like a creamy colour. So if you change that to white and then you can see the lines are, are just like a, a grey. But again, you can't change anything. You can't change the width or anything like that. This is just a bog standard, quick and easy way of doing a background page. So that's the first way. The second way is a bit more cumbersome. You're just basically creating lines yourselves. So if we just go to add a new page here and get rid of this. And to insert a line, you use the keyboard shortcut L and that will automatically put in a line. Now I'm just going to zoom in so you can see if you click down here on the bottom right where the zoom is and I'll go up to 100%. So you can see the line's actually quite thick so I want it a bit thinner than that so I'll just shrink it a little bit. Then I'm going to grab the drag handles so that the arrows are horizontal here. Just drag it out, just do it to there. Do the same on the other side. So that's one line and you can change the color of this line if you want to. So let's have it blue. So that's one line. To have multiple lines, click on the line, go up to the top right corner for duplicate and you'll have another one. Just grab that and you can see there's pink guide lines coming in to show you how to align it to the previous one. So they're now um, left and right aligned, that's fine. So click and drag over both those lines, so they're both selected. Go back up to duplicate again in the top right corner, click that, and while they're both selected, click and drag so that they're aligned again. Don't worry too much about the spacing in between them because we can, we can change that later. So again, if you want more lines than that, click and drag over them so they're all selected, click on duplicate, and you'll get another four lines there. So it's just a matter of putting in however many lines you want. So if you just wanted a small section, if we just zoom back out again, if you just wanted a small section wherever you wanted to place that in the worksheet, then that's that's the way to do it. That's an ideal way of doing it. So if you just zoom back in and click and drag so they're all selected. And if you go up to the top right, there's one called position and you can align them all here. You'll notice there's one called space evenly, so you can space them vertically evenly, or there's a, a quicker way of doing it, which is just tidy up, and this will just tidy them all up for you. So then now they're all evenly spaced in between as well. So if you just zoom back out again, and you can see they're evenly spaced, you can change the color, the size, everything you want to. So that's it, two real quick ways of creating lined pages using the free version of Canva. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if you found this useful. And until next time, happy learning.